I have a second channel, Cube Compium DDX. Hey everybody. So I just did a video um, talking about upgrading from Windows 7 directly to Windows 11 and pretty much it was you could do it but you could only transfer your files and you wouldn't be able to transfer your Windows license. So in that video I suggested upgrading from Windows 7 to Windows 10 and then from Windows 10 to Windows 11. Now in this video we're going to be talking about Windows 8.1. So, got Windows 8.1 installed on the same computer I did in the previous video. And before we uh, really dig into this, I do want to talk about a couple of things. So, if you have a Windows 8 system, or a computer that shipped with Windows 8, most likely it has an embedded product key in the uh, motherboard. In that case, you should theoretically be able to... Um, activate Windows 11 upon completion of the upgrade if it's successful even or I mean even if you do a clean install on said computer um, of course it will pick up that license and activate so this computer here is of course not an OEM Windows 8 system it's just a uh, it's just a custom build here and we got Windows 8.1 installed and it's activated so um, let's go in here to the desktop and I'll show you around this a little bit so Windows 8 is 8.1 Pro. Um, there's our system specs AMD Phenom 2 Quad 925 CPU, 8 gigs of RAM. And I should mention, just like in the uh, Windows 7 video, if you got a Windows 8 computer kicking around, chances are it may not meet the, or it most likely will not meet the minimum uh, requirements on Windows 11. So you would have to actually modify the installer using one of several means. Um, probably the easiest way is to use the Rufus 3.18 utility. Um, what you can do in that is when you download the ISO from Microsoft and you go to uh, set up a USB stick to install uh, Windows 11, Rufus has an option now to where you can actually um, set it to not do the check for TPM and all that good stuff. I mean, this computer here does not meet the normal requirements for Windows 11, but it will run Windows 11 really well. That being said, um, I have the Windows 11 USB media inserted already. So here it is right here. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and launch this. Actually, it's right here. This is my, this is actually Windows 8.1 here on a DVD. I'll go ahead and eject that and get that out of here. So, uh, after, you know, of course, we found out that Windows 7 cannot actually be really up in place upgraded to Windows 11. Let's see if Windows 8.1 can. Okay, so now, um, We'll bypass the check for updates. Just hit all right now on that. So like next. And again, this installer is not going to check for the TPM and all that good stuff. So um, we'll accept these terms. So let's see. Okay, so on Windows 8.1, you do have the option to keep personal files and apps. Whereas on Windows 7, that was not the case. So, we'll go ahead and proceed forward with this, have it do the defaults, install Windows 11 Pro, keep personal files and apps. And we'll come back when this is completed. Okay, so the upgrade is completed. Let's see if... We can successfully upgrade from Windows 8.1 to Windows 11. Turn off all this stuff here. And of course, uh, it didn't ask the important question like confirming the uh, time zone because it adjusted the clock back to Pacific time. 
It said it was like 1045, something like that. It's actually like 145. Of course, you know me. You gotta go kill off uh, one drive setup. And I just, I just pulled this machine out of sleep. To be honest. So it's trying to do a hundred different things at once. Okay, so now that we are in, let's go into settings, and, oh, here's something funny. There's an Internet Explorer icon on the taskbar. <laughs> That's really crazy. Yeah, this hard drive is just doing a hundred different things at once. There we are. Settings. Let's see if it's activated. And apparently, it appears that it is. I didn't see a message saying it wasn't activated. Yep. It says activation state active. It is a Windows 11 Pro. So, um,. We were successfully able to upgrade from Windows 8.1 to Windows 11 Pro and retain the activation from Windows 8.1. So apparently for Windows 7 computers, you're kind of out of luck. you got to go from Windows 7 to Windows 10 and then from Windows 10 to Windows 11. But if you have Windows 8.1 or maybe Windows 8, um, you can actually go straight from Windows 8.1 to Windows 11. Pretty cool, huh? So let's uh, let's let's fix that time because it's now it's saying it's a uh, Pacific time. Yeah, it says it's 10:48, and of course, yep. Don't you just miss the good old days of Windows 7 when it actually asked you important questions like your time zone and things like that? I mean, it's crazy. So yeah, guys. Uh, let's let's uh, see what happens here. See, look, Internet Explorer. Let's see what happens here. Because supposedly Internet Explorer was not a part of Windows 11. <laughs> Something's coming up. Oh, it comes up an edge. Okay, so it launched so the. Uh, so the old Internet Explorer shortcut down on the uh, taskbar that was uh, left over from Windows 8.1 just simply launches Edge. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Okay, so considering that um, we can in fact upgrade from Windows 8.1 directly to Windows 11, you may be wondering, let's say if something goes wrong, or you simply don't like the new, the new operating system, which I don't blame you. <laughs> Um, can you go back to Windows 8.1? Now, I guess I would prefer Windows 11 over Windows 8.1 if I had to choose between just the two, but let's have a look. So I'm not going to actually do it. I'm not going to actually go back to Windows 8.1 on this, but I will um, go into recovery and let's just have a look here. And it does appear that you can. You see the option go back. It says. If this version isn't working, try going back to Windows 8.1. So it does appear that you can indeed go back to Windows 8.1 for Windows 11 if you did an in-place upgrade. So yeah, guys, um, that is upgrading Windows 8.1 to Windows 11. It can be done. You can retain your apps, your files, your activation state, all that good stuff. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well, everybody, that wraps up for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video, 
Also, don't forget to subscribe to your channel and be sure to tick that bell so you get notified when new videos are posted. Also, don't forget I have a whole lot of other interesting videos here on the channel to check out. And also, in addition, I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX, where I have all sorts of other videos not exactly related to technology. Links to the channels are available at the end of this video. Again, I thank you for your support and thanks for watching this video.